another takeout video so hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's episode we're going to be trying food from a food court nearby my place which is a food opera in city gate i'm going to be having three meals from the food court and i just want to show you what quality food you can get from a food court here in hong kong so if you haven't yet please subscribe to the channel stay tuned for all the upcoming food content which is yet to be released so without further ado let's get on to the video so here we have lunch this is from the food opera so what i've got for you or what i've got for me um there's just some chili oil uh, we've got some beef brisket noodles uh, I, I was very interested to try these because I think it's one of the most popular options you can get in the food opera according to Food Panda. So I think this one is the beef brisket and I added on some wontons and the noodles. I got rice noodles, the hao fan, and this is supposed to be the soup. As you can see, it is, it is quite oily already from the top and just by just by feeling it, it's got a bit of oil on the top. So I decided to try it out. Um, iced coffee as well for lunch because, you know, I'm going to keep going for the rest of the day. Interested to try this out. So let's open it up. So yeah, this is the soup. As you can see, lots of it's that nice, um, very rich. It looks very rich soup. I'm gonna stir it. Oh, oh, the wontons are here. Yeah, we've got some wontons, and then it looks like a very, um, very nice broth. I'm very interested to try this out. And I think this should be the noodles and beef brisket. Yeah, lot. Oh, very generous portion of beef brisket with some spring onions, and then I think the whole fun is under. Yeah, the whole the whole fun should be right under. So, um, yeah, let's try everything on its own first and then mix everything together. So here we have some of the beef brisket. It's a nice, nice layer of fat, actually. I, I like when it's balanced with lean and fat portions, so it looks good. Let's try this out. And here we have the whole fun, um, the rice noodles. I really love rice noodles when it comes to beef brisket. I don't usually get any other kind of noodles because I love the way they just go down and the way they absorb the soup. So let's try these with the soup in a while. So let's try this out. Uh, sorry, it's the iced coffee I ordered also. Um, try this first. I like packaging like this. Just a simple straight up bottle. Mm. Mm. It's very sweet. They do put a lot of condensed milk, I guess. Sweetener. I, I should probably serve this on some ice later on, but let's focus on the food for now shall we so i'll try this soup first yeah as, 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 as you see it's a very nice you can say oily soup but again beef brisket um, noodle soup are always supposed to be like this mm. yeah it has that nice salty flavor of course you want and just a bit of oily mouth feel which you you, re you will get from most um beef brisket noodles this one is a bit savory compared to some places where it's a bit sweet so i yeah i, I dig the savory savory broths more i think this is a pretty good one i think i'm gonna add some of the rice noodles into the soup now pretty generous portion to be honest lots of brisket lots of noodles and then generous helping of soup so i think for the price it's pretty good let's get some of the noodles now so let's try some of the rice noodles now and just soak it in the broth let's see it's gonna absorb all the flavor Ooh. and yeah this is really why i like rice noodles so let's give this a try mm. oh yeah just very silky goes down very easily and absorbs all that nice salty broth and this is really why i love rice noodles when it comes to like soups and especially like the stir fried rice noodles i, I just love the texture i love the way it, it goes down your throat and that nice that nice bite it also offers it's not like the chewiest of noodles it's, it's quite light quite um yeah just quite easy to bite into but it has like those nice properties of absorbing all the soup and just being slurped down so easily. I really love rice noodles. So now let's try some of the brisket. Quite quite fatty to be to be fair. Um, they offer a nice like ratio of the lean meat to the fatty meat. So 
uh, impressed. Let's see how tender it is. Mm. Probably not the most tender, or like the yeah, not the most tender brisket we're gonna have. It is very flavorful. Has that nice yeah, like I said, that nice fatty, fatty layer to it. Nice chew as well. But yeah, overall it's not super tender. It is it is soft. It is like no problems. Like you're not gonna break your teeth or anything. But still good quality beef and with the noodles and the soup it goes really well. And let's also not forget we have wontons here. So these are pork and vegetable wontons. Very silky. I'll get it on the spoon with some soup. And yeah, it's just very, very silky out outer layer. Let's try this. Mm. Pretty decent wontons as well. Probably not the most filling in the world, but you're really getting here for the beef brisket noodles. So it's, it's a nice compliment to the dish. And yeah, if, if you want wontons, you can get you can get them on the side. I don't know how many there are, probably two or three only. But like I said, we're here for the brisket. They gave us a lot of brisket, they gave us a lot of noodles, a lot of soup. So hard to complain. I'm gonna try this with a bit of chili oil as well. I'll be adding it to the second bowl I have here because I don't want to get too much. Just nice, um, nice splatters of the chili oil. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, it's not quite, not really that hot. It's more smoky. That's a nice smokiness, a nice saltiness from the, I guess from the dried chilies. The yeah, overall not too hot. You can probably add it to the soup later on, but it's a nice, nice way to modify your beef brisket noodles as always. Overall, I'm pretty happy with what we got for lunch, like the for the price and for the portion you're getting for the amount of meat. Pretty good. So now I'll see you at dinner time. It's time for some dinner and in my case late late dinner. So this is also from the food court um, I've got this for takeout and I just microwaved it because I had somewhere to be So what we've got here is the uh, this is from Tai Chu It's a uh, as the name says it's a Thai stand in the food opera And this is actually one of the most popular things to order. This is the Michelin uh, chicken rice so Hainanese chicken with um, the rice of course underneath and as, as always you have that nice chicken uh, chicken broth and then they serve it with two condiments um, yeah let's find out what these are in a, mo in a moment and it's time to unbox so here we have the soup oh it's quite oily yeah so this is the soup we just got a bit of um, radish I guess in it and here's the main attraction for tonight Ooh, look at that so I got the chicken thigh specifically. You do have to add on a bit of um, extra pay for the chicken thigh. But look at that, just a nice um, glistening yellow chicken skin with yellow rice underneath as well. So that's supposed to be some flavored oily rice. And then we got some cilantro or kin chai, um, some veg, some lettuce, I think. It's lettuce or cabbage as well under. So let's give this a try. And we, we've got the two condiments on the side as well. I'm gonna try it with those as well. Let's try the soup. Just gonna be some light broth, I guess. And there is some um, radish. So let's try the soup first. Mm. Yeah, just very light. Yeah, I think it could have get got a bit of the, the juice or the oil from the chicken into it. It's just a nice um, light broth, and yeah, I think if you get this like, if you get this uh, like um, freshly prepared with the soup, it's gonna be very hot. Nice um, way to warm your stomach up before the chicken. Just get a nice good shot of that um, already rice. So it has that yeah, it has that yellow tinge to it, similar to the chicken. I'm pretty sure like it's got some of the juice or oil from the chicken also when it's cooked, similar to the soup. So let's try the rice. Mm. It's just very aromatic. It's not exactly like salty or savory. It just got that nice oily texture to it. It has like the chicken essence, in I guess. Yeah, and then I think it has a bit of um, other flavoring like um, herbs, uh, probably like the ginger, the garlic, and yeah, of course the chicken flavoring. It's not. It's not. It's not salty. It's just like a nice um, complex, I guess, complex oily and a bit of juicy. Um, rice so Hainanese chicken rice is one of my favorites this is a thumbs up for me mm. and of course the main attraction this is the thigh 
um, sorry this is the yeah this is the thigh part specifically let's try a piece of the thigh as you can see it's the skin is just falling apart from the meat and no bones I guess I think that's the incentive when you get the extra pay so let's try this on its own first mm. so yeah like I said um, no bones probably that's the yeah that's, that's the advantage of ordering the Thai portion of the chicken the skin is very silky as you know um, Hainanese chicken is a bit slimy silky it's not they don't crisp it at all compared to like their typical fried chicken but it is it is very flavorful the the meat is very clean tasting um, it just has that nice bit of saltiness but overall you're trying to get like a different kind of chicken flavor compared to other kinds of chicken the chicken in this one the chicken meat in this one is very tender the skin acts as like a another element a contrast to the to the meat because you get that nice a bit slimy texture compared to the meat which is more firm but overall that's the beauty of Hainanese chicken when you just get the different elements together you have the soup as well on the side and of course the oily rice so this is the essence of a good Hainanese chicken I can tell why it's probably Michelin. I don't know. I don't know if Michelin starred in Bangkok or something, but yeah, it, it is. It is a good version of the Hainanese chicken. Food court meal. Uh, let's go again. So just a rather simple meal we've got here. Um, this is from the Japanese stall in the food court. So they have like omu rice, the omelet rice. They specialize in that, and then with different kinds of meat on top. And then, of course, just had to get some milk tea. So I got I got the sole fillet um, fish. So it, it, normally it would come with tomato sauce, but I switched it up to curry sauce. And then underneath should be the omelette rice. And then, of course, the milk tea um, separate here. Let's take a look. Oh, so there's our nice piece of sole fillet. As you can see some broccoli, some cabbage and corn, and then the curry sauce, very rich curry sauce. And then the omelette rice is underneath. So let's let's put the fillet to the side, and you can see the top layer of the omelette rice. So the rice is inside that. You can break it apart in a while. And then we have this nice fillet of sole, quite thin, but um, very nice piece of fish as well. So we have our omu rice here, the sole fillet with curry sauce and omelette rice underneath. I think I'm just gonna try a piece of the fish on its own first. Ooh. It's very nice and flaky on the inside and then coat it in a bit of the curry sauce as well let's give this a try mmm wow it's really good fish I love sole because it's a very clean fish flavor it's not like the most um, it's not like the most firm of fish it's quite soft quite um, melt in your mouth but it goes really well with that curry sauce, which is savory. Um, it's not spicy. It just has a nice savory kick. And yeah, if, if you've had Japanese curry, you know what it tastes like. It's just, uh, it's, it's quite light. It's quite, um, it's quite rich in flavor. Um, not overly spicy. It does have a, have a bit of spice, but the main, the main component of it is the savoriness. So let's get a layer of the omelet rice now. Ooh, just breaking the omelet, revealing all the rice on the inside. Get a shot of that and drench in the curry sauce with some corn and um, cabbage as well. Here we go. You know, omelette doesn't have too much flavor, um, as you know, because of the curry sauce. Um, it tastes like the curry sauce. Uh, yeah, but it's because of that structural component where it coats the rice. So you get those different textures, the softness of the rice, the silkiness of the egg, and then just drench in all that curry goodness and you have that nice piece of fish as well so let's try to get the fish together with the curry sauce and some omelet and rice ah there we go big bite mm. just a very solid combination of the flavors and textures and you know it's a classic japanese um uh, signature dish omu rice the, i love the i love the one with the sole filet which i got right here so that's going to be it for this video guys once again if you haven't yet please leave a like if you enjoyed the video if you haven't yet please subscribe to the channel 
really appreciate all the support and once again feel free to leave anything down below in the comment section see you in the next videos i hope you stay tuned Bye -bye.